The voice of the person you are about to listen to is being altered to protect that person's identity. Enjoy. Man, I've been a fan of my team all my life, man. I'm sick and tired of waiting on my team to do something good, man. I'm about to be a fan of the Golden State Warriors, man. They the best team in the NBA. For whatever reason, I believe in Durant, man. He ain't no snake, man. If anybody go to the Golden State Warriors, man, I'm going to be a big fan of them too. Because the Golden State Warriors are the best to do it ever, man. So, I had a game against the Atlanta Hawks, and for some odd reason, Stephen Curry hit me up and asked me could he come to my court to play a little bit of one-on-one and also to just shoot around. So, I said, hold on, is Steph Curry on the Atlanta Hawks? Oh, I can't wait to invite him over my house. I need to get all the tea. Please tell me what happened. So while we were playing basketball back at my court, Steph was telling me about everything, guys. So as we all know, Golden State Warriors are moving. They are relocating. But what you guys might not know is, man, they entrusted in Kevin Durant. They said they really didn't need Steph Curry anymore. They said, man, we're going to go in a different direction. We know you're a great point guard. You have great potential. But we just can't pay your price. we rather have Kevin Durant. And I know you guys probably can't believe this because this didn't happen in real life. But we're talking about a video game here. So basically, Steph Curry said, you know what? I'm going to go somewhere where they appreciate me. I'm going to go down for that southern hospitality. He went ahead and went to Atlanta, one of the best places in the world. Because guess what, guys? Steph Curry told me that he's getting a reality TV show. Can you believe it or not? Love and basketball. Copyright, love, and basketball. Let's talk about it, man. Mona Scott just signed Steph Curry to a multi-million dollar deal for a VH1. Now, I was looking at League News the next day, and I was really trying to wrap my head around why Steph Curry came to the Atlanta Hawks. And it dawned on me that the Atlanta Hawks is trying to get an iPod King Killer. I don't know how I feel about that, but I was checking out league news as I was scrolling and I noticed that Steph Curry got blown out by a lot. He ain't no match for me. Now, as I said, the Atlanta Hawks did go out and try to get an iPod King Killer. As you guys can see here, the Atlanta Hawks are eight and three. Now, they still do have Steph Curry. I checked the roster. He isn't injured, so I am going to be going up against him in my next game. But man, my team is somewhat stacked. From the looks of things, we are looking pretty good, man. We have 290 overall players on our team, and we just can't lose right now. But I wanted to take a look at the West, and the West has turned everything around, man. The Denver Nuggets are good. The Timberwolves, I knew that the Timberwolves are going to be good with the roster that they acquired. But, man, getting Paul Millsap, boy, that's a big move. Now, the Golden State Warriors are still good, but I wanted to see how they actually looked. Because without Steph Curry, I wanted to know what their deep bench looked like. And boy, I just could not believe that Roy Hibbert got a spot on the Golden State Warriors. Now, Boris Diaw, I think that's a pretty good pull. But I just kept noticing, man. I'm like, where's their true point guard talent at? And that's where the idea came in. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. What is this guy doing? Well, I'm taking my talents to Golden State. After talking with Steph Curry and realizing that Golden State doesn't have any true point guard talent, I was like, you know what? Maybe Golden State has enough shooters and they're looking for that one playmaker to take them over the top. And oh, Justice, we don't need you. We got Klay Thompson. Sorry. Hey, man, did you check the internet? Hey, they saying David I. Parking Carter might want to come to the Golden State Warriors. Hey, that's a good pickup to me. Hey, after we gave up Steph Curry, I was having my doubts. But now we can get a true playmaking point guard. Oh, man, I can see us winning every NBA championship for the next 10 years. Yeah, I said it. We going to have a decade of success. All we got to do is sign him. The tension in Orlando is so high. In the locker room, you can hear a pin drop. And just to make things worse, the media leaked some security footage from the Orlando Magic practice facility. So you think you better than me? 
You think you can take over this team? This my team. Step through dunk. This my house. Get off me. Get off me. Um, right through. Pull up jumper. Hand down, man down, boy. Ah. Ah. You scared? Huh? Come on. Come on, guard me. Guard me. You can't guard me. Um, uh, let's get it. Oh, don't fall for it. Come on, man. I'm here you with old school moves, baby. I'm the MJ of this team. You Scotty Pippen. Come on, yeah, right. Ooh, good spin. Come on, man. Come on, this is light work, boy. Come on, guard me, boy. Guard me. I'm gonna pull up in your face. You can't guard me. This will never be your team, even if I leave. This will never truly be yours. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Man, that was intense. But what was even more intense was the fact that Bruce really couldn't do anything to help me. He was letting me know that Golden State really didn't have any interest in me. And I was begging him, try, please. I want to get off the East Coast, man. I want to go to the West. I need a much bigger challenge. Hey, man. <laughs> I ain't no hater now, but uh, what what David I Power King Carter got to offer, man? Numbers don't lie, man. What them numbers look like, man? You trying to come to Golden State Warriors, but you ain't putting up them numbers. We want to see quadruple doubles, man. Get a rebound. Shoot, do some, do some other than pass and shoot. That's all you do is pass and shoot. That's why Golden State ain't got no interest in you. Plus, you ain't really worth two pennies. After Bruce sat down with the Golden State Warriors, they had a couple things that they wanted me to focus on. And one of those things was free throws. So that I definitely put my all in trying to raise my free throw. I got to be better in late game situations. About a week goes by without any word and finally my agent hits me up and lets me know they have a possible deal in the works and the only thing going through my brain is finally I'm about to get out of Orlando start my own chapter get this shadow off my back called Justice Young but little did I know I wasn't worth ish not even two pennies you want to know why? Because Golden State rejected my offer. The worst thing that could ever happen is be rejected. But you know what? I only blame one person. Bruce, you're fired. Bruh.